Hello and welcome to Time Glitch, a game that uh, I was told about like some months ago on Twitter and I was like, this looks kind of cool, I'll play it one day. And then I forgot about it and then one day I remembered and then I bought it and now I'm playing it. So today is the day that I'm playing it. So anyway, it takes a while before you manage to push it open. Another gate. Didn't seem like it took that long. This is it, the throne room. You feel the shivers creeping down your spine. The sheer size of this place is staggering. It's unlike anything you've ever seen before. The statues and pillars are colossal, reaching all the way up to the vaulted ceiling. The throne room is like a dark cathedral, tucked away deep below ground. The flickering lights of burning candles are shrouded in mist. The throne is empty. One by one, you enter this great hall, not knowing what to expect. The door slams shut behind you like a thunderclap. The candles are snuffed out by the screech of a cold wind. Darkness. Something is taking shape in the shadows. Or someone. There's a sudden flash of blinding light. Your eyes adjust. Get ready, says the cleric. The time lich is now perched upon the throne, looking right at you. Its dead face is grinning without a trace of joy. Welcome to my humble abode. Healing you will be my pleasure. Ah, uh, we'll crush your bones to dust. The gods are with us. They will guide us to victory. Whatever. Let's get this over with. Eh, don't have to tell me twice. I love that our heroes are pretty cocky. They're, they're all going to die, I'm pretty sure. Enough talk. The undead king is raising the scepter, conjuring a vortex of dark energy. Uh-oh. Time stop. Let's see who's going to resist that spell. Well, I would imagine the mage is going to do that. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe the cleric? I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll just do that. Only one character seems to have resisted it. I don't think they did a really good job. The warrior, the rogue, and the mage are frozen in time. It won't be long before the undead king will strike them down, unless... That's right, the diamond hourglass. It's the only thing powerful enough to dispel this foul magic. And, um... You're dealing with powerful magic here. Can you handle it? Come on, lucky number seven. Here we go. Seven or more. Seven... Or more... So these are all like different types of um, dice, but they seem to be, I don't know, they, 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 they look the same, so it's going to be a little difficult to figure out. Uh, you feel to harness the power of the diamond hourglass. As you struggle to understand this strange artifact, the time lich attempts to snatch it from your hands. The diamond hourglass is wasted on the likes of you. Give it to me. Never. Will you avoid the deadly grasp? I don't know. Let's do the pretty dice. See if uh, that works. Ooh, I did. The undead king is reaching for your arm. He missed. Ha ha. Yeah, stop running around. Get back here. The flux, slow poke. Half wheeze. You will regret those words, mortal. Nuh uh. Your friends are still frozen in time, like statues. What's your next move? Uh, I'll try to break the spell again. Good again, but you're still being chased by the lich. You need to roll for concentration. Uh, let's do the extreme dice and see how that goes. Oh yeah, we totally got that. You harness the power of the diamond hourglass. Gads, please don't fill me now. Ah, don't try to play with forces beyond your control. Dark magic be gone. The shine is bright enough to blind the undead king. His dark magic is fading away, at least for now. Blast foiled again. Yay, thanks buddy. I'm back in business. Now let's finish it. The lich starts chanting. You recognize the ancient language. It's some kind of unholy curse. Oh no, we have to stop it. Who's going to move first? Ooh, we're going to do this guy and then this guy. And then we're just going to do these at random. Because they all look the same and I would have to remember things, I suppose. And, and that's just not going to happen. This is going to be mage, rogue, cleric, and warrior, and that warrior. I don't feel like that's the best way, but we'll just go with it. The mage is going to do stuff. Buff me up, why don't you? So I can stay up in the back with big damage. Uh, I don't really want to do that. 
pretty dice for him and the moody dice for him. I mean, it seems like things went okay. Slippery floor under his feet. Yeah. Rogue slides around the slippery floor, moving fast enough to get the drop on the lich. Wait, what? The lich is caught off guard. You stab it in the back. And that's when I call teamwork. Not quite what it's going for, but whatever. What were you trying to do, mage? And now it's the turn of... I'm going to cast a defense spell, the warrior's blade. Ooh, that sounds like a cool idea. Warrior is rolling for attack, and cleric is rolling for spell casting. I... I, I don't... I mean, it's just the fact that the dice look essentially exactly the same is kind of like, I don't know, difficult to kind of figure out here. And I feel as though this beginning, this is essentially like a story mode and it doesn't really matter. Uh, I feel that whatever I'm going to get is going to be exactly the same kind of stuff. All right, now we're now we're back doing the same thing. All right, we're hearing the same same kind of stuff. All right, we'll just jump past all of these things. Yeah, it's the time glitch again. We're all happy about doing the same thing. All right, and we just once again try to do this. I guess I don't I don't really know. Only one of these guys. It's the same thing as last time. I mean, if this is something that I'm supposed to remember on how to get things, it's going to be kind of rough. Uh, looking at the dice now, though, it does feel feel as though there's a possibility that the number is kind of showing uh, what it's going to be, so I have a better idea of who's going to go at what time. At least I don't have to remember things. It's a constitution save. Oh. Interesting uh, twist of events. I need a 15 or higher. Okay. Uh, no, let's not do that one. Here we go. Use that dice. It makes a lot of sense because the game does feel as though you're playing like an actual tabletop uh, game of, you know, Dungeons and Dragons or something similar to that. So, all right. So the rogue is going to do this. All right. So he needs a nine plus, which here we go. That'll work. And he needs 14 plus, which I don't know if I have. We'll try this. See what happens. And a failure it is. What? Sorry, Chris. As you attempt to move, you slip and fall. The Time Lich is now aware of your presence, casting a deadly spell. Wait. The unholy energy rips you to pieces. I don't even get to roll a dice. There's nothing left but a pile of gore. What the hell? Ha ha. I had enough of this shit. I'm out of here. Oh, come on. That was fun. Wait. <laughs> hey, come back. Sorry, guys. It seems like the game is over. It's very, very much like a real game on tabletop. I 
All right, so now that I, I, I figured out now, like I, I definitely have the idea. Um, now that I know what the dice are going to be, I have a little bit of a better chance of doing stuff. I, I definitely don't like that the only thing, it, you know what, let's let's just do this. Um, I'm gonna have everyone fail just to see what happens. All right, lots of ways to fail here, which is pretty cool. All right. It's the only thing that I, I will say that I'm not a fan of is. No, last session we went through the cast. Then anyway, I'm not a really big fan of the fact that uh, you know the the dice are always going to be kind of the same uh, based on how it is. Um, Here's your nine, and none of you guys are going to get what you need because, uh, I like that. Anyway, but my, my point is like, I, I don't like the fact that like, we're, we're going to be forced to fail every single time, uh, in like this kind of endless loop until we get it right. Yeah, there, there's like this memory required with remembering, you know, how many numbers are, are, are going to be necessary. It's just, you know, not going to happen. But I guess, uh, theoretically, we're going to get a little bit further each time. I don't know who's supposed to go first. Um, uh, you know, I guess the cleric, maybe, you know, have the cleric go first and then... The warrior and the rogue then the mage now we'll do the mage then the rogue I, I don't know we'll see if this is the right way to go twelve plus and 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 I still can't do any of these things. See, this this is what I mean. Like I'm gonna, I would have to remember the the numbers of like what's going to be what I need to to have happen, and I'm not gonna remember these things. Um, I mean, the warrior is gonna miss because of course. It's a concept. And then everybody's going to. F Oh, come on, actually, come on. That worked out. Once again, I'm going to fail. Well, I, I've I've actually uh, seen like several endings now at this point. Maybe do like a few others, uh, but. So the cleric going first seemed to be like a good idea. So I'll do the uh, cleric first, then I will do the mage, then I will do this guy, and then we'll try it this way and see if this works. I don't know. What's wrong with you? Okay, let me forget it. I'm unbelievable. Let's just get on. It definitely feels like a real life <laughs> kind of thing that we would experience. Um, 
you know, playing with actual characters or, or actual people. Um, the benefit of this that I'm seeing is, I mean, the more I play, even if I'm playing the wrong, um, the wrong dice, at least I have a better idea of like what's coming from it. Starting the same way every time, it feels a little bit ridiculous. I'm glad that we can kind of skip through a lot of this, uh, just so that we're not stuck going through everything all over again. Uh, but overall, like, I mean, my experience with the game so far has been pretty positive. I think the game is um, pretty neat. There's, you know, the ultimate end goal would be to kind of accomplish everything, but I, I don't know that uh, that's something that will really happen for me. Yeah, let's might as well just figure out what the dice are going to be. I definitely don't see myself remembering what the different things do, like the cards and or not the cards, but the dice. I, I'm just, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to remember all these things is like where, what they have to be. So I think at this point, I've pretty much played enough to say that I think it's a good game. Like I definitely recommend it. I think you'll have a good time with it. The price is pretty cheap, so it's not an expensive game. Um, we'll do the warrior, then the mage. Then we'll do the cleric in this guy. I, I also don't remember who's gone first and, and the order in which things have gone. So I I just don't imagine I'm going to remember uh, this in a way that's going to work for me uh, moving forward. It's a constant. Yeah, yeah. 15 or higher. Oh, well, he's dead. I do the mage first, I so guess. You're right. So yeah. Hey, it's another achievement though, so Oh, well, I guess everybody dies. Alright, one more, one more, and then that's gonna be it. And again, I, I feel like it's a it gets a pretty solid recommendation from me. It's a fun game. Like it's, I, I like the pixel art. I like the general idea of it. I, I think it does a really good job of capturing the idea of a tabletop RPG experience, which is super good. I I'm pretty happy with the experience. To be honest with you, so. I don't. I don't know that this is the uh, right thing to do. No, I think I've done things wrong here. Yeah, because he doesn't know how to do the spell. I figured it out though. I think I know uh, the way to, to take care of this. Maybe. Good 11. Oh, neat. There's a gaping. So I, I think it's definitely. Um, and now I'm like kind of really just want to see if I can do it. So I think it goes. Uh, I don't, I don't really know. I don't remember what I just did, so that, that doesn't help. So, I, Mage is certainly not first, so I th think that uh, I'm going to play the the actual Rogue first. 
and then I will do the cleric, the mage, and then the warrior. I don't know. I mean, I feel like maybe this is maybe the right way. If it's not the right way, I mean, like I'm just I'm I'm, I'm done. Obviously. It definitely seems to matter kind of how you play your cards um, or your uh, your dice, but this consistent failure on my end um, and the fact that I don't remember what I played and everything means that I'm kind of stuck in this endless loop where there's no way I'm going to finish the game unless I write things down and I'm not going to do that because that requires like pulling out some paper and pen or something. So anyway, that's going to be the end of this video. I think it's a good game, though. I definitely recommend it. The link's in the description. The game is very cheap. It's like under five bucks. Uh, so if it's something that you think you're interested in, uh, you know, I encourage you to buy it today. Or you can always wishlist it until it's a sale. Whatever you want to do.